Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu housed a lot of controversial changes and new additions to Ninjago. These included things such as the new episode format of 11 minutes rather than 22 minutes, stylized episodes to tell backstory, smoother movement, Jesus this fanbase complains about everything. But one of the most controversial aspects of this season was Clutch Powers and more particularly their betrayal of him. Clutch Powers is the titular character of the movie The Adventures of Clutch Powers released in 2010 and Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu was his first on-screen appearance in about 9 years. But his characterization in this season was a little different to what was seen in the movie. Where in the film Clutch is a determined explorer who leads a team of other explorers to victory, in the show Clutch is a bit of a lazy bum, very inconsiderate, absolutely hilarious. But despite all that, he does still have that explorer side to him, albeit it's a lot more selfishly motivated. This being said, many were disappointed by this characterization. However, I think it was the right and only move Ninjago could have taken to make Clutch an interesting character. And to demonstrate why I think this, I'm gonna pass you on to some other fans and show you what they think Clutch's character is in the movie. So how would you describe Clutch in the movie? I would say he's like your idea of a hero. He's brave, clever, smart. He is very motivated in his missions. I think if I recall correctly, his dad is dead and uh, something to do with the main villain of the movie. I don't remember. But even when they mention him in season one of Ninjaga, they say he was the one who found the Fang Blade. So I just kind of get the idea that he's your pretty much definition of a hero. Clutch Powers is the main character of the movie. He's the leader of the group of four or five. They all go on adventures and he leads over them. He makes sure that they stay on the mission and he uh, guides them all throughout it all. But he also has this past with his father, his the mysterious father figure who he wants to be with again, but in unfortunate circumstances he can't. But he's still has his eye on the mission, still leads over them all, yeah. So what we have here is a hero archetype who leads a team of four to five people and has absent parents and is always motivated to carry on. I wonder who this reminds me of. Had they introduced Clutch Powers as exactly as he was in the movie into Ninjago, he would literally just be Lloyd Garmadon with wrinkles. If we want to extend on that even further, every single other one of the ninja can fit that description to some extent. So I have to raise the question, what would Movie Clutch offer to the show and plot that isn't already fulfilled by the protagonists? I'll answer that one for you. Nothing. Adding Clutch exactly as he is in the movie like a bunch of people seem to want to would add nothing to the show and he would literally just be a nothing character because there are several characters that are already incredibly similar to him. And it's not like Clutch isn't still an adventurer. See his escapade in the pyramid and the entirety of the island, he's just now motivated to do so by different things. This character change is one, not out of character because these two are different characters in different canons and two, allows him to fill a role in the story that has mostly been untapped by previous Ninjago seasons, and three, makes him something more than hollow fan service. So yeah, that's why I think Clutch Powers in the show is great, and they couldn't bring over the movie character due to the reasons I stated, but what do you think? Do you think they could have handled Clutch better? Do you think he's just fine how he is? Let me know in the comments below, and like and share and all that, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.